Hey, so I'm a teacher, and my general mindset is, there's no way I'm doing that 30 times. Actually, as a high school math teacher, that's like 150. Why do you want to code? Because as a teacher, you have to do repetitive tasks, and coding just saves you so much time. So in the first workshop, you learn how to do the for loop. So it's like, and do it again, and do it again, and do it again for every student, and it's super helpful. So this is the next part of this workshop. So we did six weeks, and now we've got six more. And see, these are just next things in JavaScript that helps you to take your Google Apps script to the next level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some coding for you. And if this doesn't freak you out, this workshop's for you. Okay, so I have a Google Sheets spreadsheet, of course, because the answer is always a spreadsheet. And what I have here is I have the, what we're going to be doing for the six weeks. So the first week we're going to do logger, arrays, try, catch, if, else, how to prompt the user, and coding an add-on. If I go to the Tools menu, I choose Script Editor, it opens up the back end, and I'm able to find where I can code this spreadsheet. Control A, select all, function on open. And what app am I using? First line of code. What app are you using? And in this case, we're using Spreadsheet App. So Spreadsheet App, press period, what? It's multiple choice. I'm going to get the UI. Now what am I going to do with that user interface? Dot, create a menu. Now in the sixth week, sixth week we'll learn create an add-on menu. But hey, we're just going to do regular menu today. Alice codes. And of course you know all text strings go in single quotations. Dot, add an item. I love this. It's multiple choice. It's like press period. I'm like, Yep, that's the next thing I want to do. And with App Script, it's so readable. Now, mind you, I've created a menu like, I don't know, 10,000 times, so I'm really practiced at it. You'll get there. So my function is going to be get the list, and my function name will be get the list, and then I need to add it to the UI, and of course, a semicolon. Save. Run, and I should, now, yep, I do have a menu on my spreadsheet. Awesome. Doesn't do anything yet because I don't yet have the function get, whoops, get the list, curly brace, curly brace. Okay, V-A-R-S-S -S equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. I could like seriously do this in my sleep. This is like always my first line of code. What app are you using? Dot most likely I want the active one that I'm using right now. All right. And then my next one with spreadsheets, you have the sheet. You have three levels, the whole workbook, the sheet, and then the data range. So I'm going to define those. I'm going to do VAR sheet equals ss.get the active sheet. Now here's where I'm going to use logger.log. Logger.log, I want sheet.get name. So I want to know what is the name of the sheet I'm working on because the active sheet is whichever one I'm using and there's lots of ways I would accidentally mess that up. So confirming that I'm using the sheet that I want isn't a bad idea, but there's no real code to go with it. So that's where he's logger.log. It just gives me a quick check. So let's take a look. I'm going to save. I'm going to get the list, run it, authorize. Now when I go to the view menu and I go to logs, it says it is logged that I'm using sheet one. I didn't do anything with that information other than the, like, log it or report it to me. I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Perfect. So watch what happens if I rename the sheet Chupacabra and then we'll do it from here. Get the list. So now when I view the logs it says Chupacabra. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So then what I want to do is VAR data equals sheet.get 
the uh, get no excuse me sorry I want to get the data range no I want to remind you that get just means that okay it's got it but then what about it so when you get something there's always almost one more so let's do that get the data range dot look at all these cool choices I want to get the values semicolon now this is where an array comes into play so what I've done is I'm getting the list that I had put onto that spreadsheet, right? So let's take a look at that list, this array, array list, same thing. So we're gonna learn in week two, slower. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do logger.log, and I'm gonna say data. Now array, this is a two-dimensional array because I have row and column, but it's JavaScript, so it starts counting at zero instead of counting at one. So I'm gonna do row one, column one, which should be week one logger, but I have to put it as row zero, column zero, because that's the way JavaScript works. So let's see what it returns. Save and run. View the log. Sure enough, week one logger. So what if I wanted this one here? So this is row four, but in JavaScript, four is really a three, right? Okay, so I'm going to do three and column zero, and it should give me the week four. So I'm going to edit that three zero, save and run, view the logs, boom, totally did it. Okay, so you're like, how does that help me with teaching? Like, trust me, it does. All of these tutorials are going to be sent around activities that you can do as a teacher. So join me and you can code.